Hey everyone, welcome back to the Might and Magic 6 completionist run. Now, uh, well, first of all, I do hope you're all still doing okay. Now, at the end of the last part, I left you off on a weird cliffhanger. I say it's weird because to those of you who don't know uh, that much about the game, it wouldn't have meant anything to you at all. And for those of you who do know about the game, you probably thought I was jumping the gun. You know, you MM6 pros would have been like, yeah, you got Town Portal and Lloyd's Beacon, but you're not even master of water magic yet. You're only an expert. Like, what are you gonna do with a beacon that only lasts nine days? What are you gonna do with a Town Portal that will only take you to the last town that you visited. And to that I say, well, you know what, yeah, fair point. Fair point. However, let's, uh, let's just see what happens over the next few uh, minutes. Well, and after that, dream. we can draw our own conclusions about whether or not my celebrations were premature or not. This guy, come on, out of my way. Okay, first of all, I do want to refresh my Lloyd's Beacon. With that done, uh, another thing the more astute of you might have noticed at the end of the last episode was that I, in fact, did not complete the quest that I got from uh, Osric Temper uh, after I got the nomination. Let's drink from the well, why not? And so I need to go back here and actually turn that in. You know what? That's a long way to walk. So instead, let's fly. Let us fly straight there and we don't have to worry about water we don't have to worry about terrain mountains hills we don't need to worry about enemies if there are war enemies well there are there are some over there but I, I don't really I don't really care we can just fly straight here and hand this quest in. Who goes there? Let the Duke Osric Temper, Lord of the West and foremost knight of the realm. And done. And I know it, it might seem like I uh, scripted it this way just to show you the fly spell in action, but the truth is I, re I really did legitimately forget that uh, I hadn't actually finished the quest. One thing to bear in mind with the fly spell is that when you're in flight, um, the major cities in this uh, game will have towers like these in them. And when you're in flight, they will periodically oh. shoot fireballs at you. The other thing to keep in mind is that while you're in flight, the person who cast it, their mana will be constantly drained. Well, not, not constantly drained, but slowly drained at a rate of one every five in-game minutes. And so, Alexis there, I let her mana run out just to show you that if that happens, and if you don't have Featherfall active, you will fall down and take falling damage. Now, with all of that done, let me save my game. Let, let's save it over here. How about some training? Okay, okay. I'm gonna train Zoltan and only Zoltan. And by the way, this next part over here. The fact that I'm gonna be able to not only do this, but be able to do this while keeping this uh, beacon active. That should impress you, but before I do any of that, let me uh, do this. One more point in uh, um, Lloyd's Beacon, why not? 
Uh, sure. Let's refresh it. And now this beacon is... Uh, as soon as Sultan is ready to cast again, I'll show you. It's now 10 days long. What we want to do now is... Well, I want to wait until... I believe... Monday and these guys, come on. Oh my god. Oh, this town. I don't like it. Uh, but anyway, I believe Monday is our next uh, milestone to hit. By the way, we're now in July. This area still has not reset. But I wanted to make sure I had this ready before getting it to July, just in case the area reset now. Let me save again. Welcome. Pleasant dream. Let's rest. One day. Welcome. Pleasant dream. Let's rest for two days. Well, that's now because I'm lazy. Recall this uh, beacon. And because it's a little close to town, I want to back away a little bit and set a new one. Uh, here. And now let's go back to Freehaven. Come on. Come on, let's go back to Freehaven. Let's fly to the docks, which are right here. And before we do that, let's just take a look at these barrels. Give this to uh, Alexis. Why not? Empty, empty, okay. And the Windrunner should now be able to take us Welcome to Mist. Raise the plank and hoist the sail. Fantastic, okay. What are we going to do in Mist? Well, let's drink from the well, why not? Uh, let's go... Uh, Hello, how are you? Does anyone need to be expert leather? No. Yeah, well, you know, let's let's stay on let's stay on task. I can I can do extra chores after this is done. What we want to do is we want to go straight. Hello. Here we want to become master in water magic. But what's this? We can't do it with only ten. We need to be rank twelve. Now, the pros among you will have uh, been saying like, oh, of course, you can't even do math, Ali. You gotta. You got us all hyped up for nothing. Well, there is one last trick up my sleeve, and that is these horseshoes that I have been hoarding since the beginning of the game. I believe three more should do it. Well, let's... You need two more. Yep. Two more horseshoes. And... Confirm. Yep, you need one more. Uh, where did I even. Okay. There we go. Now you can go to rank 12. Now you can go back to. Uh, this guy. How are you? Okay. And become a master in water magic. Now, what has that done for us? Well, first of all, before I do anything else, let me recall this beacon. Let me wait for Zoltan to regain his bearings. Now let me set it again. <laughs> Once again, we're gonna have to wait for Zoltan to uh, uh, to recover from that, but it's okay. And now look at this: instead of ten or eleven or nine days, it is eighty-four days. It's almost three months. Like, it'll be hard to make this beacon expire without actively trying to make that happen. So now we essentially permanently have a beacon here in the Mire of the Damned. Which means, essentially, we can treat it like a place that we can town portal to. Speaking of town portal, 
let's look at what that spell uh, is like now. Let me just save in case it will take away my mana as soon as I cast. It looks like it hasn't. But now, instead of only taking us to the last town that we visited, we can go to any of these six towns. We could go to Blackshire if we wanted, Whitecap, Silver Cove, towns that we've never even seen, we can <laughs> town portal to them. And this blows the game wide open. Because this means we have a lot of control in terms of where we go, how much time we take, and it just increases our efficiency by by a whole lot. Now with that done, we do have some training to do. Now let's just go to Mist. And let's train here, why not? Because everyone except Zoltan needs to train. I'll just, I'll just keep saving, you know. Back for another lesson? Good job. Because we do get a better deal training here. Good job. Although as you can see it is still getting expensive for Good everyone. Job. Which is another reason why gold is such a is such a priority. Now I do want to raise your spear skill. Getting close to the master rank. You are gonna keep on working on air magic. After you get that to twelve I'll start working on meditation. You... what were you working on? Hmm. I was wrong. You need actually 10 merchant to become the master, so I'll keep raising that. And you are already set. Now... Let's just... Check in on the Mire of the Damned. Well, we're still in July, so it won't have reset now, but... I will periodically be coming back here just to check to see if this area has reset and also to refresh uh, the uh, um, the beacon just to make sure it stays topped up. Next what I want to do is I think the best way to get a castle iron fist is through New Sarpagal so let's do that. By the way this area has reset, meaning we can get the horseshoes again. And not only that, but we can... Actually, let me confirm this. I think the interior zones that are in this area are on the same... refresh timer as the outdoor area although they are separate and distinct zones these goblins are trivial enemies and those goblins from the bridge have spawned behind us again so let's just check Oh no, it looks like the interior zones are on a separate timer. So the outside has reset, but the insides have not. That's good to know. While we're at it, let's just open this. Why not? Let's open this. I'll be coming and clearing the entire new Sorpical exterior in the next video. For now, I want to go straight to Castle Ironfist. Because we are now going to complete the Snorgle quest. And hopefully you can do something. Nope. Maybe the uh, docks will have something for us. By the way, this is another one of those towns with a, a tower. So we're going to be mindful of that when we're flying. Alright, let's just, yeah. And sure, we'll take the uh, non-basic equipment. What is your, yeah, oh yeah, we still have a bunch of stuff to sell. Oh, that's okay. Orange liquid was going to you. Right, 
let's see, maybe the docks can take us. Welcome aboard. No, you're you're taking us to Mist. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna rest for a day and probably just take the stables. All right. Hello, come on in. Enjoy your stay. Actually, before I would go, there's one thing I want to check. Now that. Alexis's luck is artificially reduced by the relic. Can she benefit from this? No, she can't. Okay. So it does look at your uh, base luck and not your modified luck. Gotcha. Can we go now? Nope. Let's... Okay, yeah, it's Sunday. Monday would be the next day. Enjoy your stay. Right. We should be able to go now. Need a ride? Hitch up the horses. All right, okay. Now... Let's refresh our memory. Snorgel's iron mines were in this direction. Uh, Snorgel's caverns, rather. We've already been to the iron mines. So let's just fly straight there. By the way, there is a maximum height, and right now we're above it. Now we're now we're below it. So you can't go to unlimited lengths. By the way, well, while we're here, let's let's chat with the seer and see which shrine we should be going to. And. Depending on where it is, we might even be able to do it. It is July right now? Late in July. I've been expecting you. We have to go to the Shrine of Luck. Alright, I'll... Uh, n next video, I will... Uh, uh, let you know whether that's something we can do or not. In this year, anyway. All right, now let's begin our descent. And let us enter Snurgle's caverns. All right. I'm not Oh, sorry I interrupted you there, Alexis. She was going to say I'm not familiar with these surroundings. I know that because I've memorized all of the lines in this game. Yeah. You can hear some odd sound effects. That's okay. You can see... Um, uh oh, uh oh, settle down. You can see the kinds of enemies we're going to be fighting. Now, fortunately... There aren't going to be any... There's nothing I can do. That's a bunch of... I'm not accepting that. So, we're going to be fighting dwarves and a couple other enemy types, but fortunately no slimes, no oozes. We just need to be mindful because th this guy, what his special attack is that he, he will break an item. And normally I would like to fight him in range, but huh, the early enemies, of course, the challenge is that you have to make space for yourself. And we have ore veins, which we can click on to get some extra gold. Oh, although sometimes... Oh, and you can get different amounts of gold depending on, well, by loading and uh, loading your game. All right, so that's something that I will be doing. I'm comfortable with this level of saves coming. Especially if the alternative is you, you take a bunch of unavoidable damage. All right. Let me just make sure... Not missing something at the end of 
like, was this something? No, it wasn't. Okay. All right, let's go. I think we'll get through this fairly quickly. By the way, one thing you should know is that the Lloyd's Beacon spell, you can cast it indoors or outdoors. And I'm gonna, for no particular reason, cast it right here. Yeah, just, why not? Just for fun. And we have more Dwarf Lords, which is uh, a bit of a challenge fighting them in such close quarters. guys we have a bit more room to, to shoot this guy down our torchlight has expired but yes, we got it. but so has this guy <laughs> no no that was pretty badass I'm not gonna lie all right come on Zaldan all right. All right. I think I, somewhere here we saw another, another gold vein. It's not a huge amount of gold, but you know, every little bit helps. And now we're at. Uh, large open area and from the sound effects you might recognize that or you might recognize that sound effect as belonging to bats because i don't want to get diseased i'm gonna move back and now let's see what we can do these are these are not difficult enemies We should be more than fine. However, probably not the only enemy. And, uh, yeah, see, there are dwarves in there as well. Our bless has expired, which uh, I'm gonna fix in just a second. There we go. Carry on saving. Carry on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Settle down, guys. Yeah, see, that's why. That's what I, I didn't want to happen. All right. Whoa, this torch is freaking me out. All right. All right, let's. Just get our bearings. All right. More enemies are walking towards us, it seems. Roderick's taking a beating. That's okay. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Ah, I'm clicking on it, but nothing's happening. Maybe this one you can't interact with? Uh, whatever. I'm not too worried about that. It's only a small amount of gold. Let's now... That was Carry on clearing this central area. There, there, there are going to be more enemies spawning as soon as we walk out, no doubt. Okay, I think the rest of them are 
on the other side of this walkway. How are we going to deal with them? Well, let's start by looking down. And we can hit them in melee, but they can't hit us, which is exactly how I like it. Let's just, let's just take him down. I don't want to give them a chance to break our stuff. Aha, 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 trying to, trying to ambush me? How dare you? All right. All right. All right. An axe. And a club. <laughs> really? I didn't even know these dwarves that are very clearly wielding axes could drop clubs. But you know, sometimes the game just wants to troll you. And we can see <laughs> the club we dropped on the ground thanks to the wizard eye spell. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna click on uh, something. That's a uh, Secret, by the way, you can get something by clicking on uh, that I don't know. waterfall. What does this do? Gives, I guess, 13 hit points. Is that all it does? I, if that's all it does, we could sell it. This is a useless crystal. This is a useless crystal. Sometimes you can get gems from these crystals, but it seems like we were not lucky. Just do a bit of arranging. Cast our elves again. Our bless has expired. Let's cast that. Alright. Uh, this. I'm gonna... Okay, put this... I'm gonna quickly put this video on pause while I look up what these bones do. Because I don't want to give them to the wrong character, right? Uh, see you in a bit. Annoyingly, I can't seem to find a good uh, guide for this area. So we're just gonna... I've saved, have I? I have not saved. I'll save right now. What do they do? Five magic resistance permanent. So they only work on one character... Was it worth it giving it to you? Yeah, sure. There's another set of bones which I'll give to you. And is this also going to be magic resistance? It, this one is poison resistance. Now, if I load it, will it give me... Did... what? Okay, let's not accidentally click on it right away. So, okay, it's always the same. We got magic and poison. Maybe we'll come back here after the area resets and see if we get something different. Now, there are going to be enemies in here, of course. Let's give ourselves room and shoot them down. All right, all right. Ready to train? Not yet. Mm -hmm. Got him. Okay. Okay. Got him. Okay. Uh -huh, I knew there was going to be three empty barrels. Come on. That's okay. That's okay. What are we gonna do? Can, can the mushrooms do anything? Nope. These stalagmites. Nope. Crystals. Nope. No. All right. We've gotta. We've gotta move on. And we've gotta do this. Now, what are we gonna do? Well. Similar to how enemies can't go across bridges, 
they will often, although frequently they will glitch and fall, but they will often stop for a while at ledges. And I believe it's when they get to the sloped area that they fall off, but while they're on the straighter path, and let's encourage them to stay away from the sloped area by repositioning. And let's just shoot them down. Cast Bless again, that'll help. Carry on saving, because if they do start falling, we're gonna have to run that way. And, oh, two of them apparently are geniuses, and are coming here. Ooh, this is actually tense. I don't want to take, yeah, don't want them to take Roderick out. Uh, I really, I really should have sold before coming here, but I think we'll be fine. And if necessary, I'll do some loot runs off screen. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. We're doing just fine, but I'm sure there are gonna be enemies in here. No. Just a bunch of barrels. Purple liquid. Okay, so orange will go to Alexis. Speed will go to... I guess we can give some to Serena. Green... Purple can go to you, I guess. Let's give green to endurance. I think one's got pretty bad endurance. So let's just give some to you. I, I should have given it to Zoltan or someone with lower hit points, but that's okay. Let's now start healing Roderick up a little bit. Oh. I think we're entering an area where enemies are going to be ambushing us or being in, yeah, stuff like this. They're going to come at us with not much reaction time for us, but bats we can deal with. Dwarves are a bit tougher. Keeping our eye out for gold veins as well. 32 gold. Eh. As long as it's not a cave-in that damages us, I guess. I guess I'll live with it. Uh-oh. Man, Roderick is getting... It's not a good day for him. And just missed a bunch, that's okay. Yeah. So, how am I gonna deal with this? Because this is not a good place to be fighting a bunch of dwarves. Let's launch a volley at him. Uh, should we... Let's not tempt fate. Let's not fight him in melee. Let's give ourselves a lot of space. Although, we've given ourselves a little bit too much space because... We ran past uh, the exit. That could have been very dicey, but we recovered and ran back to where we needed to. All right. Roderick needs healing again. I could be using Roderick's own spell points. You know, this spell, but I want to save it for heroism for the later fights. Alright. Alright. Nice. Carry on looting as we go. 
got an orange potion. Interesting thing to find from a dwarf's body. Not even gonna go into turn base for just a regular dwarf. Alright. Yeah, our inventory is gonna fill up because. Uh, because I didn't do the black left foot build barrel. Now, I think these are just bad and they don't do anything for you yet. I mean, I'll, I'll look this up later on if there's actually a reason to be doing that, but for now, I'm gonna hold off. And I'm also gonna hold off on going up there bef until I confirm that there's nowhere else to go. Indeed, there's nowhere else to go, so we do have to go up. Okay. This is, I believe, an automatic elevator. It'll start going up as soon as we step on it. Okay. And it shows us an area with a, a bunch of things. Right. Now, let's say we wanted to go down. How would we do that? Apparently, there's no way to go down. We would have to, I think, walk forward and then walk back. Yeah, okay. But that's triggered a bunch of enemies. Uh, I'm gonna deal with the flying enemies separately because the more we can streamline things for ourselves and have to and uh, have to fight only one enemy type at a time, the better it'll be. And with these dwarves, once again, we have that situation where we can hit them in melee, but they can't hit us. I could be using heroism to do a bit more melee damage, but, I mean, there's no point. Like, they're, they're gonna be... Ooh, that guy looked like he was gonna glitch down. But yeah, they're, they're not going to be any uh, any trouble at all. And the dwarf lords are going down. Come on, man. Hurry. Yeah, so you can see, even though these enemies aren't exactly a major threat to us, they do still have fair amount of health, especially when there are a lot of them, and especially if you're fighting the higher tier versions of them. I'm gonna see, maybe it would be quicker to shoot them. Uh, it feels like it's roughly the same. And it's a bit safer, so let's carry on doing this for a while. Right. There are more enemies, so we're not quite done just yet. Let's give ourselves more space. All right. Alright, we're making... Our arrows are... come on. That will never fail to annoy me. Arrows being sent into the ground because of the auto-targeting. What? Okay. I do not know where it is sending our arrows. Alright, now there are a few things we can do. We can look at these crystals, they're useless. We can hit the switch, and that's brought that down. More useless crystals, man, I would have found at least a 
Whoa, 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 Our wizard eye ran out. That's why it's actually dangerous when that happens. So I'm gonna... Alright. As long as we don't get diseased, I'll be fine. Alright. Now let's go back into this room. What's in this room? Uh... I don't know. Very nice. That's okay. But ah. we can find better clothes. Aha. We already have our regeneration ring. And sure, I'll hold on to that. White is going to go to Lexus. Blue is going to go to... I guess... We'll give it to you this time. And that's empty. That's okay. Right. Let's carry on. Secure some wounds. Cast Bless. That, that was one of the dwarves that uh, Not he was trying to flee. He didn't get far. Alright, we've got more bats to deal with. That doesn't seem too much of an issue. Alright, we found a, a ring. That's okay. We've got plenty of room for oh. rings. Uh, well, uh, I accidentally clicked too fast, but we didn't get a cave-in, so I will accept that, and we'll take care of these bats. We are almost at the end, but there is a bit of an asterisk on that statement, which you will see very, very shortly. Oh, that's a that's a good amount of gold. Can we train? No. So we're not getting that much experience from these guys. Now, on the other side of this door is Snurgle. This is where he's barricaded himself. He thinks he's safe in there, but we would beg to differ. Now, here's the thing. And I've already saved, so I'm going to open the door, and as soon as you do that, dwarves will spawn behind you, and you are now surrounded. So, you could stay here and fight, but our party would 100% die. So you know what I'm going to do? Remember at the beginning, when I, for no particular reason, what seemed like no particular reason cast Lloyd's Beacon near the entrance. I'm now gonna cast Lloyd's Beacon again and recall that beacon. I'm now at the entrance and now we're safe. So now we're gonna go back. And that is another instance of enemies uh, spawning and although this one I'm actually okay with because this one I interpreted as a planned ambush. They knew we were here, right? They would have heard us coming a mile away. We already killed a bunch of them. And knowing that we were there, they were maybe hiding up in the rafters. Maybe they had a secret tunnel. But I can see how something like this might work. So this one, I'm okay with. We just gotta go up this slow elevator. Run, run, run. And... Now we've got to perform the rather tedious job of taking these guys down. And yes, we got oh god, it. that's annoying. And One of these guys is going to be Snurgle. 
Our bless has run out. Jeez. Okay, let's... Bless? Let's... Alright. Let's... Uh, okay, let's actually get in position. And let's go down. Oh my god, he got a... He got a hit right on the last possible second. Alright, and I'm gonna just just gonna ah uh, we're gonna do this in melee I guess okay so how you guys doing how's your day been just uh, trying to make some small talk while I take these guys down. They are all higher level ones. I don't see a single green low level dwarf among them. They're all dwarves, dwarf lords. I don't think Snurgle is among this group. So Snurgle is probably back in the room and he hasn't come out yet. That's one lord down. That's a warrior down. That's another lord down. Every lord that goes down is just a major bit of tanky high damage HP that they are not gonna have for the remainder of this video. So each of these red coat wearing, or e even the blue guys, they're pretty annoying. Each of these that we take down is a meaningful bit of progress in this area. Let's continue. Cast light again. Alright, what do we have in the background? Dwarf Lord, Dwarf Lord. I think... I think we're fine. Because this guy should be going down... And... This guy we're gonna have to get some distance on. But I think we'll be fine. But there's another Dwarf Lord behind him. So many of them. Roderick is... Uh, pretty... Happy with himself. I'm, I, I don't blame him. Let's try and get distance on him and... Launch a few more volleys, although our bless has run out, which is unfortunate. Okay, don't let him break your stuff. Good. That's fine, as long as you don't let him break your stuff, that's okay. Good. All right, now cast bless again. Who's coming towards us? Of course, it's another dwarf lord. This. Uh, let's let's try and melee him and see what happens. Uh, yeah, there are a few too many of these high-level guys in this dungeon. As long as we... He, yeah, he's he's done. Alright. Let's now... 
We had a few more of them come. I said, let, let's let a few more of them come. Warriors we can deal with. Warriors are more than fine. Another warrior. Another dead warrior. Alright. Still not ready to level up. That's okay. Finding a lot of axes. Let's just move some stuff around. Okay. Now, surely there can't be that many of them left. Nobody can hold this? Wow. Yeah, our uh, inventory is really full. Okay, there are a lot of these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this video on pause. And once... Once these guys are dead, I will... I will be back. Yeah, just taking this video off pause to show you the sheer amount of enemies here. So, it's gonna be a while for me, but not so long for you. So again, I'll uh, see you in a bit. Alright, taking things off pause just to show that we have now found Snurgle. I believe he has the same stats as a regular Dwarf Lord. So, he's not even particularly satisfying in terms of a, being a boss enemy. But we do have to loot him because his axe is the quest item that we have to take back to Smithers or Smithers. Now there are a bunch of dwarves left which I am gonna clear out because I'm gonna finish this entire dungeon in this one go. So I will see you once these guys are uh, taken care of. All right. Finally. Uh, who are we giving speed to? I uh, guess it's your turn. This is empty, this is empty, that... You can get speed now. All right. Now there are a few things left. We can hit that lever. That opens uh, up that. We'll see what's inside shortly. There's also a chest. I'm just gonna save. <gasps> That's why we save. Oh. Got it. And ooh, I don't know. This is uh, another one of the highest tier of amulets. Hmm. Letter to Snurgle. Hmm. Ah. I guess I'll sell that. So now this dungeon is clear. Actually, no. There are more things over here. But before I carry on looting, I really need to sell some stuff. So here's how I'm going to do this. In the rest, I'm going to cast a Lloyd's Beacon. And I'm going to replace this one from the caverns. Because I don't need it anymore. Having done that, I'm going to... I'm going to wait for my... Uh, uh, my friend Zoltan to become ready again. I'm gonna go to New Sarpagal. And I'm just gonna do a bunch of selling. I don't know. But before I do any selling, let me identify this Ruby Star amulet to see if it's any good. Can I help you find anything? Just nine de defense. That that's useless. Thanks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bunch of selling. I'll clear essentially everybody's inventory. And once I'm done with that, I will uh, go back to the caverns and I'll meet you there. All right, see you in a bit. Taking things off pause just to do the last bit of selling. Some leather armor. And this is the best shield we've found so far. But I'm going to sell it because it's got a useless enchantment on it. If it was unenchanted, I'd keep it, because maybe we could enchant it ourselves to give it something good. Let's just restore some spell points, and let's return to the caverns. Wizard Eye is still active. Let's just cast it again, just in case. Let's 
cast torch. I really need to start investing in some fire magic skill points. Okay. All right. Okay, some glowing dinosaur bones. Now, what did these do? Five might permanent. Is it always might? It is. Do I want it on Roderick? I think I'd rather have it on Alexis. Yes. Alright. Now I think we might be completely done. More. Very nice. Ooh, this is going to be good. This is the best chainmail we've seen so far. But again, this I'm going to sell. What do these dinosaur bones do? They teleport us to the exit. That's actually <laughs> pretty convenient. Although, we didn't really need a shortcut. Um, because we have our town portal, which works anywhere. And we're basically done with this episode, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the Mire of the Damned, see how easy it is to hand in this quest. Uh, without these spells, we would have had to, you know, you know, either make the area transition on foot, lose a bunch of food, or, you know, go to Freehaven, wait for the uh, stables to become, uh, the stables to wait until the trip to Darkmoor was on the schedule for the stables. And instead, we can just go straight here. What can we do now? Completed the quest. He, uh... He's pretty happy about that. With Snorgle's passing, we can now search for Rocklin and put him back in power. Good for you guys, good for you. I hope it all works out for you, but uh, what about this axe fighting? And he can train us to become a master for free. Yes. Not just for free, but without even being any higher than a skill level of four. This is one of the only skills that works this way. It might even have been an oversight from, you know, the people who made the game. Maybe they forgot to raise its requirement. But regardless, uh, we've got axe mastery of four. We're gonna raise it uh, to eight anyway, just so it matches uh, her... Uh, I guess I haven't really talked about her endgame build, have I? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give her a uh, one-handed sword in her offhand. I need to teach her the sword skill first, but for that I'll need to raise the sword skill to level eight, and then I'll raise axe to eight as well, so that they both have the same recovery time um, bonus but yeah with all of that done I think we might actually be able to gain a couple levels next time we train so with that quest done next time I think we're probably gonna be going to booth like Bay or who knows maybe we'll go to Blackshire maybe we'll go to Whitecap the entire world is open to us now and I hope in this episode you've at least caught a glimpse of just how free we've become thanks to the spells we picked up in the last episode but anyway I think that's gonna do it for now I will join you in the next episode and we will continue our epic journeys so until then take care